For 20 minutes, this soccer coach appeared over video before a North Vancouver Provincial Court judge, pleading guilty to three counts of sexual assault and one count of sexually touching a young person. And with that charge alone, Berarda could be in jail for at least one year or up to 14. The moment is a reflection of years of efforts from former soccer players to hold Berarda accountable. CBC News spoke to former Whitecaps players in the past. I'm disgusted that another coach, you know, behaved in this way and, and took advantage of the power dynamic between a coach and an athlete. There's been such harm caused by the organization to so many people that are still coping and dealing with not only what they experienced as athletes, but in the aftermath of the, you know, decades since then and trying to bring this to light. The charges span two decades from 1988 to 2006 and involve four separate victims. Berardo was quietly let go from coaching duties in 2008 as a head coach for the under 20 women's national team and the Whitecaps women's team. But allegations of his wrongdoings followed. In February 2019, after a blog was published, more allegations came out on the former coach. Former Team Canada players alleged Berarda had sent sexualized text messages and made sexual comments to the players, touched players inappropriately, and used his position of power to make sexual advances. Fans staged major walkouts from the men's games to support the female players. And finally, an investigation was launched by the Whitecaps. Even in 2019, when we came forward, it took fan walkouts to even get them, you know, three months later into a room with us. Sentencing is expected to last one day and will happen later this year. Beneath Brach, CBC News, Vancouver.